What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is WAC4863, but you can call me WAC. In today's video, we're going to talk all about sigils. And the way that you get sigils is by doing the vaults. When you complete the vault, you'll enter this last room with this special chest in the middle of the room. You need to open this chest and retrieve your sigil. Each sigil is specific to a particular vault, and the sigil icon also represents the same icon that is shown on the map for that vault. Now, the sigils can be used in two ways. They can be used on your character, or they can be given to a thrall. Now, you'll see that I have two of the same sigil in this thrall's inventory. So, if we look at the stats, we have no sigils currently placed. And if we go back in the inventory and just click use, you're going to see it says use a sigil on a follower. Very cool journey step. So we'll just continue to click through these and use them. When we get to the one that matches up, it's just not going to use because it's already been used by that thrall. Additionally, if you try to use that on your own character and you have that sigil already, you cannot use it on yourself either. So what you could do is if you have multiple thralls or if you have extra sigils, just go ahead and give them to those thralls or store them and give them to a friend. So as you can see, I have all the sigils currently. If I go back into my inventory and click use, it will not allow you to. And it says you already applied that sigil, but I can take it to a thrall that doesn't have that sigil and use it in their inventory to give them that sigil. However, if it's a thrall that you're not planning on taking into the maelstrom, I advise not doing this. And the reason why I advise you not to do this and to just save them is because if you die, some of these sigils pop out and some of them actually disappear entirely. So you can see the number of sigils that I had and once my respawn timer ends and I respawn, I'll show you not only what dropped, here we go, two sigils dropped that I am able to retrieve. So we'll take both of those. And then if we look at our stats, we are down to just two sigils. And if you remember back to how many I had before I died, I had a total of five. So we completely lost one sigil. Additionally, if your thrall dies, you do not get all the sigils. So you can see she has a total of four sigils there, and I'm sorry for anybody watching, but there we go. This is all for science. She only dropped two of the four sigils that she had loaded in her stats page. Now let's get into what sigils do, why you want them on your character, and why you want them on your thrall. But before we do, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video. Getting right down to the nitty gritty here, guys. Having the sigils loaded into your stats page will allow you to do more damage to all the enemies that spawn during the maelstrom. And it's an odd amount of extra damage when we get to the end of it. I think most of you that have been around me for quite a while are really going to enjoy the final number. However, I'm just going to run a couple of things past you real quick. First of all, the first four sigils are the most important. Number one is going to give you 21.42% damage increase. The second one you add bumps you up to 37.5% increase in damage. Number three goes all the way up to 44.64% increase in damage. And then number four takes you all the way up to 50% increase in damage. Now it's very important that you continue past number four. Even though the returns from this point on in damage increase isn't very good, and I'll explain why. When you die, you lose some of those sigils. You are not able to get some of those sigils back. You're always going to want to have at least four loaded. So if you don't want to lose four of them, you have to have at least eight because some of them will disappear and some of them will be in your inventory and be able to be reapplied. But you're gonna wanna have at least eight. I suggest going all the way to 
14 because it's a very whack number at 14 sigils. At 14 sigils, you will have an increased damage of 69.64%. And you can see all those damage number percent increases for the sigils on your screen right now. But let me show you how we got to testing this. So we're using the Star Metal Great Axe. And the reason why I chose that particular axe is it actually does 69 damage and has 0% armor pen. The 0% armor pen was what I was looking for. And I couldn't use a mace, I couldn't use daggers, and I couldn't use an axe because they're still bugged in the game. So what I then did was I spawned in all of these sigils and I applied them to my person one by one. Again, every time doing a light attack with the Star Metal Great Axe to see what the damage increase was every time. And for those of you that weren't paying attention to his health bar when I hit him the first time, the first hit was 56 hit points. So then I applied a sigil like this and I went ahead and hit him again. So when I hit him this time, it's 68 total hit points. Continuing on, adding another sigil, having him come up, going ahead and hitting him again, and this time it was 77 hit points. Going on and on and on until I had every single sigil loaded. Now I did actually do this with multiple weapons, and the percentages that I came up with are within 1%. Most of them are about a quarter of a percent different with the different weapons, and I'm just gonna chalk that up to Funcom math. So that's how I tested it, that's how I came up with it. So again, just to recap the numbers real quick, the first four sigils are the most important. Loading sigils into your body beyond that is going to solidify those first four sigils. And if you can get all the way up to 14 sigils, you're going to end up with almost 70% damage. I'm gonna call it 69 because, well, you guys know me, I'm whack. And so it's 69% additional damage. And that's all I have for this video, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. You can click one of the videos coming up on the screen to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video.